So here we have an equation where we have the variable in the denominator of a fraction. It's on the bottom, but in order to solve, we actually need it in the numerator in the top of the fraction because we need x is equal to something, not 1 over x is equal to something. So the trick is how can we get this variable to be on the top, not the bottom? Now, the way to do this is actually just to think about how do I get rid of that x that's in the denominator. And again, this is like 10 divided by x. So if I were to try and get rid of this x, what I would do is do the opposite. I would multiply the x out. I'm going to multiply the left side by x. Now what I do the left side I have to do to the right side, so I'm also going to I'm also going to multiply the right side by x and look what happens on the left side. I have x on top, x on bottom. These will cancel. And now I'm going to rewrite what I have. On the left side I have 10 is equal to 5 times x, which is just 5x. I've actually solved my problem just by getting rid of that x in the denominator, and now it just happens to end up on the top on the right side because 5x is really 5x over 1. So it is on, in the numerator on the right side. Now it becomes really easy to solve. To get rid of the 5 on the right side, since it's 5 times x, I divide by 5. And I want to do the same thing on the other side. And these two 5s cancel out. Now I have my x by itself on the right side. In math, we usually switch it to the left side. So we get x is equal to something. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now what I want to point out is, notice, when in my first step, when I multiplied both sides by x, I'm writing the x up high as if it's in a numerator, as if it was x over 1. There's a lot of students who make the mistake of when they multiply by x, they want to multiply it down here beside the x. But do not do that. I want you writing the variable up top like this. So we have an x on top and we have an x on the bottom.